We begin tonight with an update on a story we first showed you back in August. Cruz didn't think she'd make it out of the hospital alive, but a hurricane mother is overcoming their doubt and proving the lengths she'll go to save her family from a fire. Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser joins us live in the studio now with an update. Chris Haley Thompson had burns covering 40% of her body. The last thing she remembered before collapsing was her asking RV park employees to take her baby. The simple act of swinging on the playground with her kids is a luxury Haley Thompson will never take for granted. It's a miracle. <laughs> It's just amazing. For years, the Thompson family of six made this RV their home until a fire broke out back on August 15th. Haley and her four sons were all inside. It's something that, you know, you always hope that you could do if you had to, but you never want to. All the exits were blocked and the family couldn't escape. Haley had to break open a window with her bare fist and get each boy out while the flames overtook her. The fire was at my back. I was trying to shield the boys from my entire back and bottom is very burned. Medics flew Haley, her four year old and her one year old to a Las Vegas hospital where she stayed for critical care until last month. Now the scars are there physically and mentally. We also have nightmares <laughs> and uh, it seems like they get more detailed as time goes on. Since then, the family has found a new home and the boys are back to school and Haley back to having her hands full. She's grateful for everyone who pitched in to help. It's incredible to see how much good there is still in the world. Haley says the cause of the fire was inconclusive. Now she decorates cakes for a living and when she broke the window, she cut a nerve in her hand. She was worried she wouldn't be able to get back to doing what she loves, but she says she'll be going back to work very soon. Reporting live in the studio, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.